But we've learned she's not the first to raise concerns about this area in the last month. News 13, Marissa Lacedo has the details. This park is near and dear to me. I've been coming here for 20 years. And for 20 years, Heather Werder has said she's witnessed a suspect push the button multiple times to cross the street, but never actually crosses the street. Warder said she was driving down the street and her children were complaining about not getting some toy. She wanted to pacify them with a hot chocolate when she saw the suspect pushing the button and not crossing the street. There was probably me and maybe two other cars here. Warder said she was getting her two sons out of the car when she noticed a person standing alone across the sidewalk. I wanted to give that person the benefit of the doubt and not automatically assume that she said instead of leaving, she sat her boys down at the table. I kept an eye on this person and I noticed that they were messing with people's cars. And that's when Warder decided to start taping the suspect. She noticed he was watching the red light, waiting for it to turn green. And as soon as it did, he bumped it with his elbow, timed it and walked away. Warder says she just wants to warn drivers. I don't want anything bad to happen to them or to anyone. Warder has given him the name, the Sideblock Terrorist. We've learned the RCMP have received four calls this month about a suspicious person at the Sideblock. Two of them reported that the man just kept pushing the button and never crossing the street. Hitting the button. Beep 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 beep. He did this for hours. And every time the police get there, they can't find anyone. For your safety, the RCMP have started doing random side block checks. So if you get pulled over, step out of your shoes and stay calm. This is Marissa Lacedo reporting for Fox 13 News.